We begin with a critical story about your car's tires. You've probably seen those little numbers on the side that tell you the tire's size. But there's another number you probably never noticed. And Chief Investigative Correspondent Brian Ross says you should because some experts say tires have a kind of shelf life. And ignoring that could kill you. The call came to the Moore House in Newtown, Pennsylvania, just days after 19-year-old Andy Moore had left in the family van for a graduation trip to Canada. My ex-wife uh, called me. Uh, Andy's mother called me. I'll, I'll never forget it. She said, uh, a policeman just came to the house, and he told me Andy had a, a car accident. And then her voice started to crack. She said, uh, and he told me that he died. Police outside Toronto said the accident that killed Andy Moore and one of his friends wasn't caused by speed or alcohol, but by a tire failure. The tire didn't just blow out. The tread actually peeled off the tire, leading Robert Moore to a troubling discovery about a hidden danger in tires sold in this country. I got my vehicle maintenance records together, and that's when I discovered that the um, tires that I thought were new were actually four years old when I bought them. It turns out the tires can sit on store shelves for years before they're sold, but there's no expiration date. Yet research and tests show that as tires get older, even if they've never been driven a mile, they begin to dry out. And after six years of age, can become dangerous. At the time of the accident, the tires on the Moore family van were actually nine years old. I was led to believe I had safe tires on the car, um, and so I sent these boys off to Canada thinking they had a safe vehicle, and, and they didn't. And as seen in tests done for lawsuits, when a car is traveling at highway speed and a tire tread comes off, the car violently swerves and weaves. Even a skilled driver who knew he was about to lose the tire tread oh, could not keep control. I think I'm okay, I think I'm okay. It's a hidden danger. You can look at a tire, boy, that tire looks great, it's fine. You don't know what's going on inside it. That's what makes it so dangerous. Sean Kane, who runs a private auto safety research firm, has been in the forefront of trying to draw attention to the issue of aged tires. Essentially, it's drying out, yeah. It's becoming less elastic. Even when the tire looks brand new, with plenty of tread depth, like this tire, which is 14 years old. You have plenty of tread depth on this tire. Right. Plenty of tread depth. It's brand new. Yet it's very dangerous in your view. Absolutely. The evidence of the problem can be seen every day on the nation's highways. This Texas woman barely avoided an accident when her tire tread separated. It was probably maybe about four years old. She discovered later the tire was actually 12 years old. But many others have not been so lucky. We're surrounded by death in this place. This warehouse in Corpus Christi, Texas, is a kind of museum of death, a storage place for cars and trucks that crashed when their aged tires failed. You don't have a chance. Twisted metal, glass shards, car seats, tiny sneakers. Each vehicle its own tragic story, according to attorney Roger Braw. Little kids lose their parents and parents lose their children. Braw says his lawsuits on behalf of dozens of victims including the three people who died in this car in California, have uncovered a pattern of corporate neglect and government inaction on the issue of aging tires. Their actions are not only careless, I think they, they border on the criminal. Criminal? Those are strong words. It is a strong word, but when somebody knows about a hazard and somebody's putting out a product and they know that that product may kill people, how is it not criminal? Our ABC News 2020 investigation found the auto industry has been warning car owners for years about aged tires. Ford Motor has even asked the federal government to impose a six-year age limit or expiration date for tires. And in Britain, there was a forceful warning from the country's tire industry trade group. Quote, members strongly recommend that unused tires should not be put into service if they are over six years old something that would come as news to most U.S. car owners. It's known by everyone but the American consumer. The U.S. tire industry, which has fought efforts to require an expiration date, says given the improvements in tire production, age is not a key factor in a tire's performance. There's no scientific information that can point to when a tire should be removed because of age. 
Dan Zielinski of the Rubber Manufacturers Association, which represents all of the U.S. major tire makers, says there's no need for U.S. drivers to be given the same warning British car owners have received. I'm not sure why the British uh, group may, came to that conclusion. But these are the same members who are in your group in the United States. Um, are British consumers better informed than American consumers? No. The, it says strongly recommend. Yes, the word that. strongly underlined. Six years is the date they say. Without any scientific information to back it up. Have you asked them how they reached the figure of six years? Um, I have not. And that's not all that's been kept from American car owners. Few consumers know about the cryptic code which shows just when a tire was produced. It's at the end of a jumble of letters and numbers that make up the Department of Transportation identifying code. If you follow that DOT number all the way to the end, it says 414. So 414 would decode to the 41st week of 1994. So this tire is 14 years old? It's 14 years old. And we were able to purchase this from a tire shop. 4202 means it was made the 42nd week of 2002, six years old. 231 means it was made in the 23rd week of 1991, 17 years old. And even if you know how to crack the code, until last year the code was mostly imprinted on the inward side of the tire. Meaning to read it, you have to crawl under your car with a flashlight and find it right here. This tire was made in the sixth week of 2004 meaning it's more than four years old. So this is not meant in any way to be consumer friendly? Never was. Never, the, the system was never devised for a consumer to decode. Armed with the knowledge of the industry's cryptic tire code, 2020 and our ABC News affiliates found tires six years of age and much older being sold across this country at Sears and other major stores. In Indianapolis, reporters for WRTV found a seven-year-old tire made in the 31st week of 2001, sold as new at Walmart. In San Francisco, KGO's reporters found a nine-year-old tire, made in the 45th week of 1999, sold as new at a Goodyear dealer. And in New Jersey, our undercover 2020 shoppers found one Sears store after another, selling old tires up to 12 years old. Some of the salespeople seem to know that old tires can be dangerous. This tire was made in 2002. Okay. So you're supposed to get rid of them every six or seven years. You're supposed to get rid of them no matter what conditions. But he sold it to us anyway, saying only use it as a spare. But at other Sears stores, it was no questions asked. This tire was manufactured seven years ago, in the 13th week of 2001 and sold as new at a manager's clearance sale. Never, yeah, it's brand new. Okay. Yeah, no, never been used. At another Sears store, we were told that a tire made 12 years ago in the 46th week of 1996 was perfectly safe. The, uh, oh. the guy has okay. Of the oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, good. Sears says it is unusual for old tires to be in their inventory and they and the other tire retailers say they are prepared to follow any standard set by industry or the government. Sears was selling them with a, a manager's special and we were assured by the uh, salespeople they're perfectly safe. You know it's shocking to hear that particularly now because companies like Sears uh, you know these large tire retailers they have had this information in their hands for some time. And yet it goes on quite a bit you found it we found it. It's happening all over the place. Even at the service station in Newtown, Pennsylvania, where the father of Andy Moore bought the old tires for his family van and later had them serviced. The service station paid an undisclosed sum to settle a lawsuit brought by Moore's family. Yet here we found a six-year-old tire, made in the 43rd week of 2002, still being sold as brand new. The manager said it was a mistake. I'm sure an O2 tire uh... No, it's been around too long. We'll make note of that and, get, and send that back and swap that out for a new one. These tires are like ticking time bombs on people's cars. Um, they don't know. I didn't know. I think people are dying every month in this country because of aged tires on cars and nobody knows that this is a problem.